Vikings were merchants before being raiders, actually. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying we're not massively militarist. We know how to fight. We're quite happy to fight if we need to, but that's not our thing. Which is why I'm a little... This is why I'm allowing the decision for warrior culture. If you want us to be a bit more raider-esque than warrior culture, if you want us to be a bit more settlers and colonization, functional architecture... Is the vote up? Not yet. I'm just making sure that there are no others that should perhaps supplant one of the other ones. I don't think so. I think this is a good good selection. Oh, Cutthroat Politics. That was the other one. You know, I'm going to replace Death Cult with Cutthroat Politics because it's not really the ritual sacrifice of everyone around. It's kind of... Things are really, really bad, so maybe we'll have a blot. Um, where's the pole gone? There it is. Oh yeah, we're changing the flag. I haven't got to that yet. Okay, so I think those are going to be the five options. We've got Distinguished Admiralty, Cutthroat Politics, Functional Architecture, Meritocracy, or Warrior Culture. And those are your five choices. This is as, in the best traditions of maudling culture, entirely influenceable through alternate means. So, what do you think we should do? Get your votes in. Vote, vote, vote. Brug, thank you very much for the 16 month resubscription. Very much appreciate that. Watching from work, don't tell the the man in charge, okay. Secret safe with me. So get your votes in. Which one shall we go for? Distinguished Admiralty, Cutthroat Politics, Functional Architecture, Meritocracy, or Warrior Culture. Still got another minute or so. Am I going to play Crisis? We'll see where the game takes us. I'm trying to leave this as open as possible. I'm just like, I'm not going to pre-decide stuff. I want to see where the game takes us. Because one of my big arguments about Solaris in the past was the fact that it was always kind of stagnant. And I want to see if that's changed. Okay, votes are in, and it was pretty one-sided. So Commander Faceless coming in with 20,000 channel points, thank you very much for that. Anthrax coming in with 50 bits, thank you as well. Carthro Politics, last place by quite a long way with 3% of the vote. Meritocracy, not being very meritous in this circumstance, with 8%. Then the Warrior Culture, fighting their way to a respectable third place. Then Architecture was functionally in second, but the most distinguished... Of all of the options here, we've got the Distinguished Admiralty, and I think that is probably one of the best breakdowns you will ever hear of the different choices. So, Memorialist Distinguished Admiralty, we are Egalitarian Militarist Spiritualist. Okay. Good. Advisor voice based currently on government. <laughs> Which one? Democracy sure is an endless struggle. Whoa! Spain. Boundless horizons. Endless learning opportunities. I serve the faithful. There is no great. It is a good day to die. 
Priority alert. This pre-recorded message is triggered in the event that your VIA unit has suffered a critical degradation of its ethical constraints matrix. Nothing is impossible to those... Descent is forcefully discouraged. The springs of cooperation flow most abundant. Those who need will receive. The Hull integrity failing. Decompression imminent. It's been an honor, Captain. Priority alert. These alien savages must be taught. It is a good... I serve the faithful. The self is a prison from which only we have escaped. Our multidisciplinary... The laws of science govern all... Nothing is impossible to those who would try. Nothing is impossible. We will have equality, liberty, and justice for all. We will have equality, liberty, and justice for all. First time user setup initialized. Entropy. Dilapidation. Decay. The gradual heat death of the universe can be quite fascinating. Whoa! Space! Just think about it! Boundless horizons. No, 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 it'll be fine. I'm telling you, just turn off the fail safes and. Wait, is this thing on? <laughs> I actually kind of feel like the materialist. Even though we are spiritualist, I feel like the materialist ethos is perhaps a little more like us. Just go out and do stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to go materialist. I do like the voice. All right, we are. What? What? What are we? Who are we? Um, I think we are probably Vinland. It's the Empire. It would be more time. True. I feel like we've probably done something similar to that before. Yeah, I like Vinland. I think Vinland, because we're the lost colony, makes the most sense. Okay. Closest to the raven? <laughs> The red rose. Except you can't change the colour of the emblem, can you? The wings. I quite like these. That one's pretty cool. Hey, well, dog. Mm. I like this one the most.
planet in a sea of space. Huzzah! Yeah, I quite like that one. Black and green. Ship appearance. Um, ooh, Imperial. That looks cool. Usually I go avian. I just like the shapes of the avian ones the most. We're juicy. Thank you very much for the 13 month resubscription. Very much appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go with the Imperials. Huzzah! And then the ruler. Obviously. Silas Harkonnen coming in with a new Prime subscription. Thank you very much for that. Silas, welcome to the Maudlings. Good to have you joining us. Can we keep it in English, please? Okay, I think this is good. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, it's changed, damn it. It wasn't that far back, it was in the 30s, wasn't it? Was it you? Yeah, I think it was that one. 64? No. 54? No. <laughs> now you're just making up numbers. I'm fairly sure it's that one, though. I don't remember it being quite that light. But this would do. Alright, so we're going to save you. And there we go. We're a military hunter. Um, okay, if you say so. Last one was 64. That was the female one. Does Delara still stall out in the mid-game? I don't know. That's why I'm playing this. Person kind of looks like a leaf. I know. I tried to make him as Scandinavian as possible. Oh, it probably was a different phenotype. You are right. That's who it was. There we go. That's true. Life probably was a redhead. You're not wrong.
Yeah, I think phenotype one is more likely. Ah, where's the red? Kind of a strawberry red. Uh, I think that's the, probably the best. Okay, let's save you again. Overwrite. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to be playing as Vinland. And which of these do we want to see potentially appearing in this world? I like the boomers. The boomers are cool. Cheese Angels. Mm. Imperium of Mordred. Mm. Hitchhikers. Mm. Mordcorp would be interesting. Viking Holdings Inc. Would be cool. Holy Wrangle Empire. Mm. Mordred's Magnificent Mysterium. Burleth Brewers. Those are the uh, dwarves. Tech a lot initiative I quite liked. Space Prussia. I oh, know it was. It was one of these. Hang on. You want the breweries? Bring in the breweries. And these are all just a chance. It doesn't mean that they actually will. And then the Maud Horde. Bring in something a bit more dangerous. I don't want to force spawn. I, I don't want to know exactly what's going to appear. And then we're playing as Vinland. Okay, galaxy size, medium is fine. Elliptical is fine. AI empires is fine. Advanced AI, none. I don't like them. Fallen Empires, fine. Marauder Empires, too, sure. Keep everything else at one, sure. Difficulty, I wish it told you what, like, medium difficulty is. Captain, I guess. Everything else is looking good. <laughs> Immediately two different people saying different things. I'm hovering. Nothing. Commodore's medium. No, Captain's normal. Captain. Commodore. <laughs> oh, chat. <laughs> ah, here we go. Ensign is actually default. So you were all wrong, except for that one guy who said Ensign. Congratulations. Orange Kessler. You got it right. Commodore's in the middle. Well, no. Captain and Commodore are both in the middle, which is why it's such a difficult thing. It's like, which one's in the middle? Even though, yeah, Ensign is the default, but... Ensign's definitely too easy. Captain or Commodore? Considering I'm coming back to this from a long break, I think I'm going to go in Captain. I could do scaling. Oh, this just scales all the way up to maximum. You know what, let's do Commodore and turn that off. <laughs> 
Mr. Cake Guy, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Artenescu, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Silaric, Grand Moff Tano. Zen Triplet, Mr. Freak. Thank you very much for the follows. Calyx Primal coming in with a 20 month resubscription. Bob Babson coming in with a 5 month. Oh, Calyx, I saw already. Bob Babson's the one I missed. Take my money, Mordred! I'll take a tea instead. And Lubbergoth wants me to drink some tea as well. Okay, lots of people are saying we're scaling on, so we'll go Captain with scaling. I think that's a fair compromise. Teacup's grey again. Yeah, I noticed the... <laughs> I don't know why. I really don't. Oh, does that mean the background's fixed itself? Grey. Blue. It's gone back to the old settings. As long as it works, it's fine. As long as it works. Uh, the Lost Colony. How exactly the original Norse colonists arrived in Midgard is poorly documented, but we know that they travelled a great distance in primitive starships. Many were lost along the journey, and conditions on the surface of the new homeworld were harsh at first. Famines, wildfire attacks, and countless other challenges were overcome, and eventually the planet was tamed. Surging population numbers and massive construction efforts soon gave us the means to return to the stars. Our old homeworld is still out there, somewhere. There are no living Norse and Midgard old enough to have laid eyes on it, but the fate of our ancestral home still occupies our minds. My head cannons, they really got lost while sailing to Greenland. <laughs> So my head cannon. Let me just go and find it. Is this? That's my head cannon right now. <laughs> That's who we are. When does Nemesis come out? Tomorrow. Really? Can't see anything? The link that I just put in chat? <laughs> I mean, if you want me to, you know, share my screen, then I can do that too. That would probably be easier, wouldn't it? Where is the share screen thing? There it is. Boop. So there you go. That's us. That's who we are. Salty McSalt Man 2. Thank you very much for the follow. I love the fact that that's already been taken, apparently. So you had to go for the number two. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the galaxy around us. That's looking rather juicy. Uh, we have another alpine world over here. Alpine world there, that's a 15, that's a 14. So the one south of us is bigger. So what I think I'm going to do is... Oh, right, we actually start with our system explored now. You're going to go ahead and survey that, and then I think I'm just going to send you off in this general direction. We are going to immediately start building another science ship or two. Seems I remember how you do that. That's construction ship. Ah, oh, it's because there's a shipyard. It's in the spaceport now, isn't it? There it is. Not construction ship, that's the wrong type. I want a science ship. I'll start doing that. Research. Um, fusion reactor, physics research, or blue laser. I like the idea of the physics research because it increases the amount of physics research we generate. Pop growth would be good. Population's always powerful. 
And then I'm going to say some more engineering research. Although our engineering is going to be very quick. Because we are natural engineers. Am I going to self-limit to nine systems? I wasn't planning to. Again, this is not my usual game. I am not very good at Stellaris. And I am massively out of practice. Massively, massively. Like, I haven't really played this since before Federations. And even then, I didn't play it a lot. I would say that this is by far and away my least game. My least played Paradox game. Although, actually looking at this, what's... Lower this or CK3? CK3 still has less playtime, but only by 100 hours. Now I know why I declined to play with you. Nah, I just... I don't want to do too much multiplayer is also part of it. And I don't really want to commit to multiplayer either. You got chat, you'll do fine. We're doomed. We're completely doomed. Reminded to look at policies and species rights, they change quite a bit even at the start. Yeah, that's true. Um, right, we'll... Eh, we may as well start with that. Do, 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 do. I don't remember how to access that. There it is. Diplomatic stance. Expansionist. Outpost build cost is down, which I do like the sound of. Increases border friction, though. I mean, we are Vikings. We're, we're not exactly known as being the best neighbours. Cooperative. We're definitely not belligerent. I think expansionist is fine. War philosophy. Unrestricted. We're bringing the submarines. Orbital bombardment. Indiscriminate. Resettlement. Prohibited for the moment. And I think that's mostly just because we're egalitarian. First combat. Aggressive. Uh, first contact, rather. I don't think we're necessarily aggressive. I think we're probably cautious. Does City Skyline can actually... I mean, I have played City Skylines. I have... <laughs> okay. Quite a lot less. I have about 300 hours more in Stellaris than I do City Skylines. I've only actually got 20 hours in cities. I'm surprised by that. Could have sworn I played it more. Yeah, I think I'm cautious. Border status, open. Economic policy, mixed. Trade policy, wealth creation for the time being, robotic, allowed. Population prohibited. Slavery prohibited. We are egalitarian, so we're not allowed to change that. Purge, displacement only, fine. I think all of those are fine. Um, what else was being said that I should do? 